Well, I decided to put this fender on. This is my good side. I had some little studs here that I welded a piece on the other day. I've got one good one here. These two I just took out, so I think they're going to be fine. And I'll run a tap in this one and clean it out. These should fit this, uh, this fender over here. And I can kind of put some bolts in it. Hold it where it's supposed to go in the front. And uh, see what I got to do about uh, putting this uh, bumper bracket in for one thing. And I do have a good inside bracket there for the back. So I can uh, more or less mock up this fender. Looks like it needs some love. Maybe I'll kind of try to knock some of these dents out of it. But anyway, today's Memorial Day. <coughs> Got kind of a late start. But... Uh, if I can get one fender on and mounted, I'll say that's a pretty good day. And I'll work on this one for two reasons. One, it's got a better, better bolts on this side. And number two, the other side, I still got to work on the steering. And they've cut this uh, floorboard. Looks like uh, where it fits right there on the frame. They cut a hole out. I don't have any idea how close these uh, these frame rails are. Are the running board rails? And I don't know what's going to happen here with this bed. Uh, basically, where the bed is right now, it's welded on. So, I can kind of play with this a little. But uh, I think that would be real good lick if I was to get this uh, fender and running board on here mounted. It'll let me know what I got to do to the other side. Well, this is kind of good. Uh, I'm not sure exactly where the up and down is on this thing. But there's a, a groove right here. I think I probably ought to let it down a little not on the locks right now it's just on this jack let's see if this will change it any yeah there it is right there is the the curve is good so I think that's where this fender goes I don't know how I'm going to hold it there. I really can't get in there with a clamp. I'll see what I can do. Well, after some cutting, cut about a half inch of that bed off there. And I got it to go in and uh, lined up pretty straight with the fender. I'm not exactly sure what the alignment is or what it's supposed to be. Um, the uh, braces, I'll put the camera up here. I don't know if you can see. 
but they're missing by a couple inches. I'll probably have to jack it up and figure out some bracing for that. Looks like the uh, fender's right here and the brace is here, so I might have to put some tabs on it. <coughs> but I uh, got the fender on and it looks like it's lining up. It went flush against the the uh, bottom part of this bed here so I could put a bolt in there and we'll throw a couple in the front and see what it looks like that's in and bolted up good and tight and I can live with that it's a little bit flexy I've only got two bolts in it and uh, looks like to put a plate in it for these braces I have to raise it up about there which is uh, actually kind of good it's moving that fender out a little so that's where this fender is going to go with a running board on it I ordered some trailer fenders <coughs> they're eight inches wide so they're probably going to come out to about the edge of this tire I get bigger tires on there they'll have the fender sticking out a little I don't know how big that is it looks like about a foot Anyway, here's the fenders on, being held up by its own power, and I did notice that, uh, I'm interfering right there with the, the header a little, it's really close. But uh, I can uh, just bend that fender in there a little bit. I don't know what the hood looks like if it's closed. Before it was a couple inches high. Yeah, it is now too. Yeah, it looks like it's two inches high. It looks like about two inches low down here. I don't know. Don't know what's happening here. Whether that fender should be uh, raised up if I do raise it up I found out before it interferes with uh, with everything and it'll uh, have to well I don't know but I'm just going by the little bolts that was in it I'm pretty sure that that fender goes there and this might you know it looks like it's maybe an inch here and yeah three quarters here so I may be all right with that I'm not gonna <coughs> try to get the doors to slam like a new car so at least I got that on and I know what uh, what's going to happen. I will unclamp this and uh, 
see if I can raise this fender up. Yeah, I'm still interfering with the with the wheel here. And uh, raising it up might help a little. But don't know. I might put smaller tires on it in front. And I've got about an inch. It looks like I could move this whole thing back. Well, now it's all in one piece. That's what I can do. I marked it there. But, uh, Let's see here. Yeah, it looks like, according to these brackets here, to line up with that fender brace, I need to move it back about two inches. And that's about, about an inch or so, and that's what they got there. That'll help. what it's going <coughs> to do to this. Anyway, it's good enough for now. It's solid in one piece. And, uh, I can, uh, pretty easily move those clamps and stuff now and try to get this aligned a little better because I don't want to go welding and drilling and stuff on it until I get the fender where I am pretty sure is where it needs to go but it looks like it's got to be raised up and pushed back probably if it was raised up we'll see it's on there and setting clamped in shouldn't be too much trouble to declamp it good enough projects coming along I'm continuing to work on this fender I unclamped it, got the bottom flush down there, it's pretty straight along with the grill. Uh, when I pulled the hood down, it looks like the back of the hood was too high. I can step on it down here and push it down. You can see that, but the problem is the fenders broken right there so I clamped it back there with a piece of steel and a half inch bar that's kind of holding it straight and uh, it's running pretty close to my lines I'm still not back into this this notch uh, of course that notch is not really anything you know they could have cut it three quarters of an inch too long could be too short um, don't know but I'm pretty tight here with this fender this is a four inch block and that's about seven inches there so I need to I need to pull this hood down again see where we're at. Yeah, I got about an inch up there. About an inch here. So actually, if I push it down, that's uh, pretty good there. But this is really low, four inches. 
really need to raise that up some. But it's pretty tight. When I pull on this, you know, I can move it up. Actually, I think I can put a jack under this uh, part right here. Raise this up a little. I don't have three quarters of an inch. I'll jack it up and see what it does. Well, that brought it up to where it's matching the hood right there. I've still got a lot in the front. And I cleared this another finger and a half, say three quarters of an inch. You can see by my marks there, well you can't tell with this camera, but uh, I raised it a good inch. This is uh, good for this area. What it did to this front, probably not much. Looks like it's still got to go back some. I'm still having a problem with this tire right here. That's only. You know, an eighth of the distance here. Looks like I'm going to have to, going to have to do something about that fender to clear the tire. But anyway, uh, First thing I got to do is get it on and solid. I'll weld it up, then I can worry about making openings right. And the more I push this fender back, actually, you know, that closed that up in about three eighths of an inch. actually pretty good right there I've uh, that little curve that's in my uh, fender is no longer really any good I raise it up which uh, changed it quite a bit still you know I could fairly easily cut uh, this fender here go ahead and lower that back down cut a triangle out of this area here raise this up because it's really too low needs to go up about another inch I think just looking at it it looks like that running boards a little higher so I can lower it back down and match my uh, curve here let's see what is it I lower this right there is where it needs to go yeah I'm right down to my 
my four inches again. Well, that's where I'd need to put it. This fender's got to got to match there. I can't really go by that hood too much because it's a. Uh, locked down in the back not locked in the front this looks like where it needs to go and uh, the front's lining up pretty good here this stuff can be bent around a little and I got a lot of dents in here that need to be taken out. This whole fender needs to be straightened, really. So I'm going to mark some reference marks on this thing. So I can put it back in the same place. And uh, I'm going to pull it off and knock some of these dents out try to weld my broken places at least it'll give me something solid to start with well there it is on again there's quite a bit of welding looks like about three quarters of an inch here and if I push this hood down I got about the same there so I got that fender right now matching the hood the bottom here is almost flush and this is good enough I knocked a lot of the dents out of here welded it up up here there's some holes in it I, there was a big dent here knocked that out um, I got most of this dent out of here I welded up a lot of the edges and stuff uh, the main thing I did was this these two areas here where the this support rod was broken here uh, it's welded up real good on the inside and outside I gotta grind it off but uh, I got most of the dents out of this it still needs a little a little bit of tweaking but I wound up being almost in the same place here I actually kind of lowered it a little bit uh, looked like I had a big old dent of mist there but uh, I'm still that's about seven inches seven inches off the ground and I got a low tire so it might not be too bad and of course I can raise it up a little I haven't put the running board on it yet but Altering that, uh, been in that front end there and welding it good. I did change it some. At least I got to, strangely enough, you wouldn't think that fixing this thing would make a difference in the inside part, but it did. I really don't know how to go about making this mounting it I've got a I've got a drill and mark it for the bolts so it'll clear the bolts for the the uh, radiator shroud there maybe I'll just crawl under there and mark it with a piece of soapstone or something pull that fender off and 
cut those areas out. I really don't want to weld anything together here. I mean, that would really be the, the way to do it. You know, just weld that fender right there to the bottom, weld it to the top. Not such a good idea. And it looks like this fender still kind of twisted in on the front compared to the back. I don't care, I get a little bit out there would be fine for my wheel. I may bend a specific curve for that. Anyway, I think this is pretty good. There was no magic occur. Took me a couple hours to get it all welded and the dents beat out. But uh, it don't look too bad. I'll put that floorboard on and a running board and see what it looks like. Well, we're in pretty good shape again as far as where the running board goes. Yeah, I need to raise that fender up a little, which is okay. Um, but my, I'm interfering in here, I'm hitting the bed, and this, uh, this bracket here is not really, um, it, this bracket on the frame is hitting this brace or where it's supposed to mount in here so it won't go back anymore and it's kind of holding it a little bit crooked so I need to probably cut a little bit more off of this uh, off of this bed and uh, push that back in That'll take out that. So, I figured I'd have to redo those brackets. You know, maybe they had them right, maybe they didn't. I just looked at them and thought they probably need to be changed. But, uh, now I got the fender straight. I can uh, first thing I got to do is cut me some holes in here for these bolts so they'll uh, they'll be flush right now they're holding it out I really can't clamp it very tight there's one down here in the bottom too uh, so I get to uh, get me at least a couple good holes for these bolts even if um, then may really make any difference once I can get the holes bored in here or slots whatever I put in it I, I really don't want to take this loose because it took a long time to get it straight Anyway, I'll open that fender up so it'll clear my uh, clear my bolts, and then I'll get whatever mount I need here sorted out. Get that fender on, good and solid, and uh, I got my front and rear brace that'll kind of fix that all and uh, once that's finished then I can move on to this 
rear piece here. I think I'll just have to cut a little bit off that bed and the, uh, the rackets they made were not not really welded all that good I think I could cut them off pretty easy and I'll probably just mount the brackets to the to the running board with some kind of a bolt system and then jack it up in there on the frame and then weld it once I get it all level and everything so that'll all be perfect anyway a lot of work but uh, I'm kind of pleased with the result I did get I took the fender off and cut me a couple of places here where the uh, bolts holding this on so I've got that mounted flush it looks like two of those little bolts that uh, go between here are gonna work at least one of them will for sure and uh, I am uh, maybe just a little bit low down here on the bottom but uh, maybe eight of a quarter of an inch but this part here is matching pretty good I haven't uh, <coughs> haven't really done a lot to it and I was able to get a good clamp in there so right now this is clamped good there on the along this this edge everything bends of course you can see uh, but uh, it's touching the header right here but I still got to pull it up I'm gonna try to get it up back up to my my line here I believe that was just a two before here. Let me see if I can do that. Yeah, I stuck another two before. Yep, that did it. So I'm uh, maybe half an inch above my line here. And uh, my uh, little uh, cutout there in the fender is matching pretty good. This was all rusted out. I welded some of it right there. But that looks pretty decent. I'm still Oh well, now I got about an inch and a half between the fender and the tire so looks like it improved that a little I think I get one more clamp up in here clamped it fender to the frame I'm missing my exhaust pipe now. Not by much, but I am missing it. I don't know how close the hood is going to be. I'm going to clamp that and we'll check the hood. Well, we're touching here now. And this one's up. three quarters of an inch pulling one down I'll raise the other one up but uh, if I'm going to sacrifice anything here I 
I'd rather make this too close and have more clearance but I might be able to just knock this up I'll do that with a hammer see if I can raise the front of that I got it flush on the bottom you can see I raised it about a quarter of an inch there got a half an inch here it's hitting a little there and then it goes down but this can actually bend around a little so I think that's pretty good for the fender I might want to just lower it a little right here yeah right to my original mark that gave me a little room I think I'm good enough I've got the outside kind of twisted up. Let me get rid of this board. Yeah, that made it level. And gave me a little more room there. So it looks like that mark I made there originally is the best one. Lost a little bit there on the wheel. But the outside of this fender obviously can be bent quite a bit. And I'm sure my floorboard is in the same position it was. I'll put it on there and see how close we are now. It actually improved the situation a little. This is pretty good and tight. Going up against the bed there, good. May not have to move them brackets, may just weld something on it under there. But that's pretty good. It's a little high right there, a little low there. But this looks real nice right here. Pretty close anyway. Looks like it needs to go back. That was real easy to do. So, I'll make me another mark here. As my new where it's supposed to go marks and down here I'll make one so that's where everything goes <coughs> and I'll mark it right here as well <coughs> so that's where the fender is gonna have to go or where it's gonna go I can only mess with it so much that's pretty good looks like everything will bolt up at that point I need to make some kind of plate to cover up that frame there that should be pretty easy to do and uh, I really don't know what diameter those fenders are going to be but uh, I'll figure out something to mount the back of that on there so that's kind of a kind of a done deal that's a pretty good mock-up 
everything looks good I can get plenty of bolts in this front end here I can get at least two of those little ones I cleaned up there's another one up in this area but I think it held some kind of a brace because the fender's got a cut out right there I may weld something into that fender and uh, <coughs> use that little bolt just for a clamp for the fender <coughs> I'm pretty good here it's actually feels kind of solid and I got don't know which one of these braces are going to work and there's a bracket right here somewhere maybe it's over here oh, it's right there it's right in this area it's uh, pretty close to the frame it looks like I can just weld a, a plate on the frame and come straight over and uh, hook it to that bracket my bolts are all clear and good down here that uh, top 3 8 bolt 7 16 that'll hold where the clamp sat's another one that'll hold and it looks like I can get one big one right through that hole it goes right through the brace and bracket and everything anyway it looks pretty good I can brace this into the frame now this one here goes to the outside of the fender I've got a bracket down there you can see between the tire there's a rear brace that does that one and that's the one I can shove that uh, fender out so it clears the tire good so at this point if I start uh, I can start welding brackets on the frame and bracing this fender real good kind of a done deal once I get some brackets on and bolted that'll uh, that'll determine where the rest of it goes I wish I had a sun visor that would make it look cool turned out that this uh, bar I put in here turns out to be a perfect place to hook the hood maybe they designed it that way I don't know but the hood goes up there on both sides and it hooks drops down in there holds it up real good got a kink in it I'm gonna have to fix that uh, should be pretty easy to do well I think that's it for another day it's coming along the fenders gonna work out it's a little lower than I would like but it's going to make it look 
way it cool. Whether it's going to be too low, I don't know. But uh, we will see. Tires and wheels will change everything. Sitting here at the end of the day, admiring the wife's garden. The other side got a whole bunch of roses. She made this little patio all by hand. So it's kind of nice back here. It made this little rock thing. Sure beats working on an old rusty thing, admiring flowers. <laughs> 